What's that shit in the back of my video for you guys? Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and comment. If you need to become a monster, guys, I'm gonna watch. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and comment. Don't forget to become a monster, guys, I'm gonna watch. So, what up, y'all? Hold on, I'm coming Come on, wake up, baby. Come on. It's okay, wake up. No, no. Mama know you're trying to get some sleep. It's okay. So, in today's video, I'm going to be... I had, like, a few comments from people asking me, like, Oh, you just threw up on mom. Go ahead, get it all out. So, yeah, so I... It's okay, throw up on mama. So, I had a few comments on, like, what do I do? Because there's no baby milk formula. As you guys know, I do not breastfeed. Um, I did breastfeed for like the first week, first three days, four probably at the most, but I stopped breastfeeding. Hey, right here, baby. Let mommy get this stuff off you. So, yeah. Let me shut y'all down real quick. So, I did breastfeed for, hold up. This thing be acting like it don't want to stand up on his legs. Like, what is the purpose? So, I did breastfeed. Let me back y'all up, so. So I did breastfeed for like the first uh, three days. That's what I'm saying. So I breastfeed. I breastfed for the first three days. But the thing about when I was breastfeeding, it was freaking funny. It was hurting so bad. It was hurting me so bad. Like I could not take the pain. I couldn't take the pain. And then people was like pump, 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 pump. I was pumping, I was breastfeeding, I was pumping. I was doing what everybody was telling me to do that I already had done this. My nipples was like, come on. My nipples was like, um, my breast was hurting so bad to the point like, I couldn't even do it. Like, I could not, I could not do it. I could not do it and that's how bad it was hurting. So I stopped breastfeeding. Um, once I stopped breastfeeding, um, my baby ended up getting her milk changed seven or eight times. She got keep getting milk changed, keep getting milk changed because she didn't like those brands of milk that they was giving her. So they had to keep trying her with new milk, trying her with new milk, trying her with new milk. So it's really, it's really hard. So like, I feel like for any new parents or parents, if you plan on bottle feeding and not doing any more breastfeeding and putting your baby on formula. Think twice about it because, as I can tell y'all guys right now, from my experience, from now living today, who would have known we would have ran out of formula? Like, who would have known it would have been a formula shortage? You know how many babies are being made every day? You know how many babies are on formula? You know how many babies can't take breast milk? You know, so to go in the store and see that there's no formula, it's a real, it's stressful. And I can tell y'all from experience. I have been looking for, I go out every day and I look for formula. I feel like my baby is only three months. My baby is going to be drinking bottles for a good little minute. So I need, I need extra food for her. Like I don't just need food for the day and tomorrow. I need extra food for her. So with that being said, I just feel like think twice before you switch. I feel like I can go back to breastfeeding, but that's not really something I want to do. But believe me, if it was something that I had to do. If I had to go get this pump out and pump out some milk real quick for my child, I would do it. Like, with no hesitation. So, just think twice before you do it. Um, Like, do both. I feel like you should do both for all parents. I feel like you should do both. I feel like, um, for me, like, for me, uh, like I say, it hurt it. Come on, y'all. Y'all gotta come with me. I gotta make her a bottle, so I'm gonna keep talking, though. 
But like I say, it hurted me really bad. So that's what made me like stop. It was hurting too bad. And I couldn't. Oh, I thought I passed you out. Fell. So I just couldn't manage. I couldn't manage. It hurting. My boobs hurting. It was just too much at one time. So I switched to bottle feeding. And I love it. Don't get me wrong, I do love it. Look at this. Get a Go about my day. That is it. Be here. So I do love it. I do appreciate it. But it is stressful when it's gonna make in the stores. Hold up y'all. So yeah, like I said, it's just um, it's just real stressful. That's the only thing. That's how I feel about it. That's really my opinion about it. I feel like it should never be no day, no lifetime when there is no milk or no food to give to your child. I feel like it's too many parents out here. It's too many babies out here for it to be no food. Like that's so crazy to me, you know? That don't really sit well with me. I feel like, and then they say you can go like put in Canada, on um, um, you can put in Canada on Amazon, and you can get um milk. So I did try that because a few people remember that, but I did try that. I can't find no milk for my baby at all. I can't find no milk for my baby at all. Like. And then the brand milk they got, they don't have the same brand milks that we have. So, ooh, let mom get that. Got it. So, even when people like go get milk from there on Amazon, and order, they still do not have the right type of milk. Like, they never had the brand milk for my baby. Like, they had like other people. I don't even know if they had anybody else on. I don't know. Is it because everybody was like, once they found out that you could do that, everybody was doing it. So that made like all the milk be gone fast or or if my baby type of milk was never up there. But I feel like it's a real hassle. I feel like if you're pregnant and you about to have a baby, baby, do both because it's no telling when it's not going to be a milk shortage. Like, it's no telling if... If it's gonna be any milk for your child, you know, and that's like that's really scary. That is so scary. Like for some people who can't breastfeed, that is scary to think like, what am I gonna feed my child? Like what am I gonna feed my child? I can't feed my child nothing. I don't have no milk. So the question is, I want to know is why is the milk supply so low? Like why is it so low? And I mean, I won't know. I don't know. I could do research on it, but all my doctors keep saying is like. <laughs> It's gonna be low for a while. That's how my doctor telling me. So all I can do is like, <clears throat> all I can do is like go with what she's saying. Y'all see, she ain't drunk a little bit of that milk. All I can do is like go off what she's saying and you know just try and do my best to find milk. But y'all was wondering is my baby having the same problem? Yes, she is. But as y'all can see, I got milk right here. I'm about to go over there and show y'all what I got left, and I'm gonna tell y'all what I do. Like. Like I say, I look for milk every day. It's not one day I don't look for milk. It's not one day that I go in the store and I don't look for milk. I feel like I look for milk every day. And the reason that is, is because I need it. Like, I really do need it. But this is my baby milk store. I have my child a milk store. Like, this is how bad I have to buy milk. I spent $300 on milk the other day. And my baby only drank this brand. You okay, baby? So she got like this many more of that. She got three cans. One is in her diaper bag. But I literally had to spend three hundred dollars and buy seven of these. Like seven of these. These have twelve bottles and twelve in the pack, and it's eight eight ounces. She only drink four ounces right now, so this is perfect. Like I could open one and put some in like one of her 
regular bottles and then I can save it for say put the other half in the refrigerator and save it for later on so this will really help me but this is all the food my baby got like for right now this is all the food she has so she got she got seven of these she should three four five six seven she has seven of these so oh ooh, I just hurt my foot <laughs> And these, the liquid ones, these last, the powder lasts for a good minute. So, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to call her doctor tomorrow and get some more powder. I get the powder from the doctor. I got these from, uh, I seen them in Walmart, I think. I got these from the doctor. These ones, I found in Walmart, but they was in the back. Like, I be having to ask people, can y'all go in the back and look and see if y'all got the milk for her. So, in total, in those little bottles... She got like, she got 84 bottles. She got 84 bottles in the little one. Then she got six, seven. Then she got uh, six, seven. Then she got seven of them. And then she got three cans. So she got 94 things right now over there, what I can like use for food, but it's really a hassle. So like I'm gonna tell y'all right now one more time, if you have a baby, breastfeed breastfeed do what you gotta do but um it is going to be a struggle if you're looking for milk right now as of right now i don't know what it'd be in 10 weeks or i don't know what it'd be in two weeks i don't know what it'll be then but i know as of right now that's what i've been going through and i know somebody people was asking me like am i having trouble finding milk so i am i am i am i am too but I just stocked up on those. Like I said, I just spent $300 on milk. I don't play with my baby. When it comes to food, I'm gonna buy it all. I'm gonna buy every single piece of food. And then they got it like, what's going on? Like, you can only buy four things of food off the shelf. You can't even buy. I had to have somebody with me to buy some of those. It was no way where I could just buy all of those by myself. But thank you guys for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look at my baby looking. Y'all should let me. Girl, don't roll your eyes at them, but y'all like, comment, subscribe, comment down below any more video ideas that you guys want to see. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you a lot. Bye, Chase. Say bye, Fat. Say bye. Say bye. Alright, she said bye-bye, y'all. <laughs>